in this video we're going to be talking about why ladies in today's day and age need to reconnect and restore their femininity yeah it's time it's about that time wait a minute hola lovelies welcome back to my channel now if this is your first time seeing this beautiful face welcome welcome i'm yinda and on this channel i show you how to level up your life style and content now if this is something you are interested in make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never ever miss any of my quality juicy content all right happy happy new year i hope you guys came into this year with so much energy 2023 is going to be the year that it needs to be so from the title you can obviously see that this is a new topic that i'll be sharing on this channel and the reason why i want to actually touch on this is because it's something i personally have decided to you know reconnect with and i have personally seen the benefits and the purpose for it and that is why i have decided to come on here and also just share my knowledge which is what i always do so we're going to be discussing why femininity is your superpower and why you literally need to start using it t today so if you are interested in today's topic make sure to watch till the very end all right so like i mentioned before femininity is something that i have become passionate about and it's something that i've also reconnected with and one thing i've learned is that it is way more than just you know putting on a nice dress having your makeup done looking nice looking feminine it's way deeper than that looking feminine is such a small part to being a feminine woman but what i'm going to be sharing today is going to make you to actually realize that you need to embody your femininity from the inside out now that is the real deal so before i give you all the tea we're going to be differentiating between masculinity and femininity these two seem to always be clashing right so the best way for us to look at the difference between our masculine and feminine side our masculine side is goal and result oriented and we basically do things that need to be done because we are seeking a result we're literally going after a goal our feminine side on the other hand is more experience oriented we do things because we want to experience something and because we want to feel something so here is a list with a lot more differences between the masculine and feminine side the masculine is doing while the feminine is being the masculine is focused outwards while the feminine is focused inwards the masculine is giving while the feminine is receiving the masculine is logical while the feminine is intuitive the masculine is competitive while the feminine is collaborative the masculine is rational while the feminine is emotional now i understand that as a woman we definitely have a both sides but our core essence is the feminine side and the reason for this if you're honest with yourself and if you check it our feminine qualities and energy make us feel more at peace we feel more at home we feel more you know like us and the same actually goes for men too a man is going to feel more comfortable on his masculine side that is why all of this is all black and white we can always fluctuate i personally try my best not to be on the masculine side as much as i can just because i love the peace that i feel when i'm on my feminine side because i feel more like myself and i'm more relaxed and i'm more comfortable it's definitely important for us to find that balance where it's not too much of the masculine and we're thriving more in our feminine the reality is men and women are definitely built differently our bodies and hormones are different we need different hormones to feel good we even think differently now i understand that there are certain areas in our life where we need to be on our masculine side a lot more a good example is while we are at work at work we're trying to get a result we're trying to get things done we're trying to do so it is totally understandable if you tilt more to your masculine side but with that being said i have discovered something that works perfectly for me and that is soft power so i'm working yes 
but I'm using my femininity to work. And that is something I think I'll just talk about in a completely different video. But soft power is definitely a thing and just makes doing a lot easier for you. But in other areas of your life, you should try and be on your feminine side a lot more. Your relationships with family, friends, and even romantic partners you want to definitely be in your feminine energy because then you're able to experience things a softer way, a nicer way, and in a more you way. So you definitely want to be soaked up in your feminine with necessary boundaries. And the reason why I say this is because a lot of people see the feminine as the weaker side and people tend to want to take advantage of that. So the boundaries are in place to protect you from certain people that might want to move funny you definitely have to have your boundaries in place and you all definitely have to have your self-worth and your self-respect in place so i have a question for you why do you think so many women are on their masculine side these days i'd like to hear your thoughts and opinion so pause and leave a comment down below so that i can see your thoughts and we can probably have a conversation about that all right so i'm going to dive a little deeper into that because I feel like it needs to be touched on. A lot of women are leading with their masculine and uh, let's just get into it. In today's world, we see a lot of women, including myself for a very long time. Yes, I used to be that girl. Now I'm realizing like, they don't really tell me to tell. A lot of women embrace and overvalue their masculine side over their feminine side. And I believe honestly that it is a survival thing. If you check it, the masculine qualities are celebrated a lot more, they're noticed a lot more, and they get applauded for a lot more. And with that, they tend to be seen as more valuable in the society that we live in today. And this is because they deliver results and they literally bring us success. While on the other hand, the feminine qualities are more about experiencing things. And with this, it's a lot more difficult to sort of measure the value, but it's literally seen as less valuable. And if we're being honest, this sometimes might not just be a society thing. Between ourselves, we might also feel that way. And another angle, right, is that a lot of men do take advantage of the fact that women are softer and you know more reserved and more laid back. These men have hurt so many women and the women just have decided to stick to the side where they feel more protected and safe. Because as a lady, if you're able to defend yourself more, if you're able to have that, you know, you're going to be protected from a lot of uncultured men. That's actually the reality. So a lot of women also just tilt to that side a lot more. So if a man isn't doing the manly duties that he needs to be doing by providing, taking care of, and protecting a lady will not have that need to fill those shoes you get what i'm saying so this is why men need to do better because y'all are just disrupting a lot of things do what you need to do and everyone falls aligned so with that being said i'm going to be discussing why a lot of women feel unbalanced this was something i used to battle with so much and i feel like a lot of reasons why women would probably be feeling this way it's because they aren't actively acknowledging and fitting into their feminine side so if you're operating so much from the other side which is the masculine side you are definitely going to start to feel a lot more unbalanced and by unbalanced i mean feeling stressed unhappy burnt out exhausted disconnected from our emotions disconnected from our bodies depleted and unfulfilled that's just to name a few things so if any of these emotions or things i just mentioned feels a bit familiar don't worry trust me you are not alone i have gone through that and i'm so sure that there are still women going through this but i'm so glad you also found this video because it's going to help you realize that you need to realign with the right side to feel more zen to feel more at peace to feel more like you and i believe that this is why we're seeing so much femininity content on the internet these days you know the soft life the elegance like because a lot of women are getting fed up a lot of women are getting stressed out so we're realizing these things and a lot of us just you know getting aligned and tapping into the essence that we need to be tapped 
into and for this to be happening it means that a lot of women know and feel that something is missing we feel unbalanced and we have that burning desire to literally change this leads into why femininity is your superpower. Femininity is your superpower because in a world that constantly values results, achievement, doing and doing more, being able to understand the importance of your femininity and knowing how to use these qualities in order for you to live a life that's fulfilled is exactly what makes you your superpower. It's understanding the value of something that many people in today's world unfortunately do not see. Being able to reconnect with your feminine means that you're able to slow down and experience your life instead of constantly focusing and chasing the next best thing. You're literally able to be in the moment and enjoy the moment. Like just imagine you're just... <sighs> it's so sweet guys happen to it if you haven't yet stepping into your feminine energy allows you to relax recharge and it gives you the chance to connect with your authentic self like it's so amazing like it's so nice being connected to you amazing and by connecting with your authentic self you have the chance to trust yourself and love yourself more and this literally just ties back into the self-development content that I have started dropping on this channel. Literally, like that's how everything I've said connecting because it just aligned. You understand? It just aligned. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my notifications are turned on because more content like this is definitely going to be coming your way. To be able to experience all these things, we need our femininity. Femininity is your superpower because it's the key in the missing piece, living a life that is more balanced more fulfilled and more happy who doesn't want that please who doesn't want that and ladies to be clear in no way am i saying that you should completely dump your masculine side that is useless and you don't need it no 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 our masculine side is very powerful and we need that side to achieve things and to be successful guys it is 11 39 and i'm still filming I got up today by 7 a.m., went to the gym, had a shoot. Once I got back home, I was still so tired. I was like, nah, I don't know if I can still shoot this video. But I didn't want this makeup to waste. And I knew that I needed to shoot this video because the content has to go up. So I tapped into my masculine side to give me that push to actually, you know, get up and do because I need to do this video. Do you understand what I'm saying? So your masculine side is needed when you need to get things done. But after you've gotten things done, please go and reconnect back to your feminine. Go and soak up your feminine and go and be in your feminine. Because after this video, I'm washing off this makeup and I'm doing my skincare, doing my self-care and I'm going to relax because I have tried today. And I have done all of this just so that you guys can get this content. So yeah, I personally love to tap into that side once in a while because they allow them to structure and get things done however as women we have mastered that we know how to use our masculine qualities and we can be very good at it that is why right now is the time to restore our feminine side so we can truly start living a life that is balanced fulfilled and happy so yeah my ladies this is why your femininity is your superpower and you should not be afraid to tap into it and start using it now you may be wondering how do i use this superpower how do i tap into it and how can i get this thing activated so you already know me i try my best to give you information as much as i can so just make sure you're subscribed to the channel because i'll definitely be providing more videos around this because i have become so passionate about it so make sure you subscribe my notifications are turned on and yeah i will see you in my next video bye